welcome to another edition of Science Episode 4. Today is our special Easter edition for Sick, and we are on Lesson 3, Episode 4, and today it's all about the plate boundaries and the geological events associated with that, such as volcanoes, earthquakes, and the formation of mountains. Right off the hop today, it gives me great pleasure to announce the prize winner for this Dairy Milk Bars. For the first person to hand in their completed assignment goes to... <laughs> uh, sorry about that. We had some uh, technical difficulties there, but uh, nothing a, a new camera couldn't take care of. Well, if you remember last time, we were exploring the uh, plate boundaries and uh, now what we want to look at is what happens along those plate boundaries specifically how their movements cause some fairly spectacular geological events what happens when these plates meet in the last lesson you looked at earthquake activity and you plotted earthquakes on a map. And I hope you can see from that map that the earthquake activity is concentrated along the trenches. My most favorite type of mountain building, the volcano. Hot magma squeezing up through faults in the Earth's crust, forming these dramatic instant mountains. There's three main types of boundaries that we're going to look at. The first one is diverging. I wrote that in there for you. You can write that down. Diverging means to make something longer, so we're going to look at how diverging plates are moving away from each other. The second one is transforming plates, and of course transforms means to make something into something else. The last one is converging, which means they're going together. The diverging plates are obviously moving apart from each other. This is called seafloor spreading, as we learned in the last lesson. So now we have magma squeezing up through that gap and forming a brand new oceanic ridge. Now deep down below the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean where there is absolutely no light, we have these strange creatures that live right around here. They just use that heat to survive because they're cold-blooded and they give off their own light. It's referred to as bioluminescence, and you will learn about that in grade eight. Now, they are creepy son of a guns. The second type of boundary that we're gonna talk about is the converging boundary, and this is where the plates come together. Now, when the plates come together, we have two types. We have ocean, and we have continental. That is where we form mountains. <laughs> along the coastal areas. So the crust under the ocean that's sliding down under the continental mass will melt and you will have magma down there and of course that magma will squeeze its way up through some fault lines, some cracks in the earth's crust and form volcanic mountains. Hey everybody, I'm in the Cascade Mountains in beautiful northern Washington and we're in the USA and you thought the borders were closed. Actually this is 2018 and I'm hiking with Johan right there and this is Mount Rainier. It is a volcanic mountain that is formed from that oceanic layer subducting under the continental plate. We can also have two continental plates coming together, pushing against each other, and that just f also forms mountains, such as the Himalayas. Mount Everest in the Himalayan mountains. So, what is a mountain, you ask? Well, a mountain is just part of the Earth's surface 
that's higher than the rest of the Earth surrounding it. Mountains can be created by folding. They can fold in one of two ways. They can fold down and make like a happy face. Or they can fold up and make like a sad face. Our last type of boundary is the transforming plates. What happens here is the crust moves sideways and there's a lot of friction there. Builds up pressure and then moves with a sudden that forms earthquakes. Now using instruments such as the seismograph, scientists can locate the epicenter of the earthquake. That is where the earthquake started and the focus. So convection currents are still causing the plates to try and move, but they can't. And that pressure builds up and then once in a while, boom, earthquake. Now when that earth breaks, we have things called seismic waves that ripple effect through the Earth's surface. The strongest earthquake ever recorded occurred in 1960 off the coast of Chile, and it actually caused a large tsunami. That's a big wave. Did a lot of flooding. A lot of people were killed between 5,700 and 6,000 people, and it was rated over nine on the Richter scale. And now let's talk about your activity that you can complete with lesson three. So there is a chart for you to fill in called the types of boundaries. And in the first column, you have the type of boundary. In the second column, it asks you to sketch the boundary to show. So this one I've done for you, and it is a divergent. So I have drawn a classic under ocean, continental moving apart from each other. This is a volcano. There's magma going up through there. Oh, and now look, I've even added some color. Love it. Next in the second column, you have the features of the plate boundary. So this one is done for you. Crust is created. That's one of the things that happens. Rift valleys. And I wrote down another one, ocean volcanoes, which means new crust across the bottom of the ocean. And finally, examples, I put the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, also the Red Sea. Where are we getting all this information from, you ask? Well, I'm not that smart. I use the textbook right there. And of course, you have your notes. Now, once you finish the chart, there's an extending your learning, which it says is optional, but I would really like you to do this. It's actually the most fun of all of the activities. So it says that our task is to create a mountain using modeling clay, and I'm going to show you that right now. Now this comes out of the Pearson textbook, so you need your book. It's 281 is the page, and the instructions are there. But let me just show you what it looks like. Okay. So we have it set up, we've got the five layers, two blocks. I clamp one side and I'm gonna squeeze on this side. If you don't have a clamp, you can just get somebody to hold it for you. And I'm using plasticine. I'm gonna suggest other things you can use if you don't have plasticine. So the instructions say that we need to squeeze. So we start squeezing and watch what happens as we squeeze. And squeeze. And squeeze. Work that son of a gun. And finally, a little bit more squeeze. Don't forget, as you're going along, you need to draw a picture, describe it in words it says. I know the question you're gonna ask, does it have to be written up like a lab? Well, that's usually what we do, isn't it? But I'd like you to do that. If you don't, 
Give me what you got, even if you just do this part. Whatever, I'll look at it. Thanks. Don't forget, there's uh, check your understanding uh, on that last page of the assignment. Page 284. Uh, yeah, a few questions there. That's so good. Now, if you don't have plasticine, no worries. You can probably substitute for something. And I was thinking, you know, you could use like felt. Okay, so we'll just check a little bit of the mail that we've been getting. We always get lots of uh, comments, and I appreciate that. Uh, okay, we've got one here. Oh, are there any other assignments there that I can do? If so, uh, send them to me. Um, yeah, I was going to make a mention that. Um, I'm trying to time the assignments with the videos. So I release the video, and simultaneously I release the lesson notes and the assignment. So you will get that right away here. Uh, okay. <laughs> Your yodeling and dance moves are... What can I say? Okay, here. Oh, I got to share this one last one with you here. Mr. Smith, the science guy, you're the guy to hang out with. Now, how do you like that? For a guy with no friends, I'm actually gaining friends. Too bad we're in social isolation. Maybe uh, check with me after this is all over. Well, that just about wraps it up then for this week. Have a good Easter, everybody. Oh, what was that? Oh, right. You know, we never did announce the uh, winner for this week. Uh, the prize, the beautiful dairy milk chocolate, goes to Damien. Well, thanks, everybody. Uh, it's been great. This week, I appreciate all the assignments that you're sending in. Keep them coming. Don't forget to check your email and have a great Easter. Remember to look after each other and look after your parents too. Dairy milk chocolate goes to Damien. That was a fail completely. Where did you learn how to throw? Ow! <laughs> oh!